in this session we will be discussing about a state space representation using canonical variables up to this we have discussed about the state space representation using state variables state space representation using phase variables next we will go to state space representation using canonical variables okay let us see in the case of canonical form of state model the system matrix a will be a diagonal matrix and the elements on the diagonals are the poles of the transfer function of the system see we have represented the sta uh, state state space model for a system by using the equation x dot of t equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t that is our equation in that a is called system matrix in the case of canonical form of state model of the system matrix a will be a diagonal matrix and the elements on the diagonals are the poles of the transfer function of the system see sometimes we are given with the transfer function of the system which is s by u of s by u of s suppose that have the form see here you can see that is the form y of s by u of s is equal to b0 plus c1 by s plus lambda 1 plus c2 by s plus lambda 2 plus etc by cn by s plus lambda and actually transfer function will be in the form of a s domain equation and we are transferring it in the partial fraction expansion method so we will be getting this form okay so c1 c2 cn are called the residues and the lambda 1 lambda 2 etc up to lambda n are the roots of the denominator polynomial which is the poles so this equation can be rearranged as b0 plus c1 divided by in this case s can be taken outside from every term so s into 1 plus lambda 1 by s plus into plus c2 divided by s is taken outside here similarly s is taken is outside here so this s comes to the numerator side so this will become in this form okay so rest of the terms will be same so y of s will become b0 into u of s that is we are multiplying this denominator to the right hand side equation so y of s will be equal to b0 into u of s and the next terms will be multiplied by u of s so we will be getting this form see you can see here that this is in the form of g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s where g of s is 1 by s and h of s is lambda 1 so actually this represents a closed loop having open loop transfer function 1 by s and the feedback is lambda 1 and c1 is a scaling factor so you can represent each of these terms by using the block diagram as a c here 1 by s is the g of s term h of s is lambda 1 and so 1 by g, g 1 by s by 1 by s into a lambda 1 is up represented by this loop so this lambda 1 is fed back to negative terminal so you can represent the input see this is actually representing an integrator right integrator function 1 by s means it is integrating the input so we can write the input to this integrator x x1 as x1 dot that is the derivative of the state variable that is x1 dot and the output will be x1 so if in the second term similarly there is a loop that is containing an integrator 1 by s and feedback is lambda 2 that is fed back to negative terminal because here it is 1 plus g of s into h of s so it will be going to the negative terminal so the second term will give this loop and here also there is an integrator so its input is a derivative so that can be represented as x2 dot and output will be after integrating the derivative term you will getting the output x2 similarly there will be n terms you can represent like this also also you can see that this loop will be multiplied by c1 into u of s what is c1 c1 is a scaling factor so you can represent it as a c1 and u of u of, u of s is obtained from this here okay so here there is another term that is b0 into u of s so it is coming from the u of s which is multiplied by b0 so you can represent it in the block diagram as u of s is there that is input and it is given to b0 so here you will be getting b0 into u of s and here the output y of s is obtained by the sum of all this so here first you draw this loop then this loop this loop this loop and you will represent this term also then all these terms will be added to get the y of s term so this is the block diagram of the canonical state model See state model canonical state model is this one right so in that 
block diagram you can write the state variable state equation so that is x1 dot will be equal to what is x1 dot x1 dot will be equal to how will you get x1 dot x1 dot will be equal to minus lambda 1 into x1 plus u here you will get how how will you x1 dot x1 dot what are the inputs to x1 dot u of s is one input other input is lambda 1 into x1 right it is coming to the negative side so minus lambda 1 into x so minus lambda 1 into x1 plus u Similarly, x2 dot, what is x2 dot? What are the inputs to x2 dot? One is u of s and the other one is minus lambda 2 into x2. So, this is the equation. Similarly, you can write xn dot will be equal to minus lambda n into xn plus u. And this is the state equation. So, next you can write the output equation. In the output side, y of s is com composed of this term, this and this, this. So, you can write it as a that will be equal to c1 into x1 plus c2 into x2 plus etc up to cn into xn plus b0 into u. You can see this here c1 into x1 comes here c2 into x2 here cn into xn and here it is b0 into u right. So the output equation is this one okay. So you can draw write a matrix from this state equations and output equations so canonical form of the state model in the matrix form is given by x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot x up to xn dot that is obtained from the state equation and here next matrix is a matrix a matrix is minus lambda 1 minus lambda 1 other terms are 0 because x2 term is not there x3 x up to xn terms are not there similarly in the second row x1 term is 0 and x2 term is minus lambda 2 and other terms are 0. Similarly, this will represent a diagonal matrix. It up goes up to minus lambda n. Okay. So, this is a diagonal matrix. Next is a, instead of a system matrix, this is the matrix. And instead of x, this is the matrix. And next is u of t matrix. Here, in every state variable equation, u comes. So, you can write 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And it is multiplied by u. Similar output equation, in the case of output equation, you can see that the coefficients are C1. Every X1, X2, X3 up to Xn terms are there along with the B0 and the U of T term. So, you can write it as Y will be equal to C1, C2, X3 up to Cn into X1, X2, X3 up to Xn plus B0 into U. Because Y will have the form AX, C, Cx plus DU, DU term, okay. So, this is the canonical form for the state, state model in the matrix form. So let us do a problem. So the question is determine the canonical state space model of the system whose transfer function is T of S is equal to 2 into S plus 5 divided by S plus 2 into S plus 3 into S plus 4. So this is given. So in order to get the canonical state model you have to change it in the partial fraction expansion model. So first of all what you have to do is write it in the A by S plus 2 plus B by S plus 3 plus C by S plus 4 which is the partial fraction expansion model. In this you have to find A, B and C. What is equation for A? A will be equal to this term into S plus 2 at S is equal to minus 2. So when this quantity is multiplied by S plus 2, you will get a 2 into S plus 5 by S plus 3 into S plus 4 at S is equal to minus 2. Substituting the value of S is equal to minus 2. So you will get A will be equal to 3. Similarly, B is obtained by multiplying this term with S plus 3 at S is equal to minus 3. So s plus 3 and s plus 3 cancelled here so you will get 2 into s plus 5 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 substitute s is equal to minus 3 so you will get a minus 4 similarly for finding c how will you get c c will be equal to this term into s plus 4 so s plus 4 and s plus 4 get cancelled so you will get 2 into s plus 5 by s plus 2 into s plus 3 at s is equal to minus 4 substitute the value of s is equal to minus 4 so you will get c equal to 1 so y of s by u of s can be written as 3 by s plus 2 minus 4 by s plus 3 plus 1 by s plus 4. Here the need is you need to find out the partial fraction expansion method. That is the only thing you want to know. So this equation can be rearranged as see y of s by u of s equal to here. You can take s outside. So you will get 3 by s into 1 plus 2 by s. Minus 4 by s into 1 plus 3 by s plus 1 by s into 1 plus 4 by s. So here s comes to upwards. So you will get y of s is equal to 3, 3 into 1 by s by this term. So you can just rearrange this in the canonical form expression method that we have discussed previously. So here 1 by s comes upper side 1 plus 
1 by s into 2 here into 3 into u of s. Similarly, here it can be written as 1 by s into 1 by s divided by 1 plus 1 by s into 3 here into 4 into u of s. This is the same, but we are rearranging in the some terms, okay. So, this is similar to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. What is the value of h of s here? h of s is 2. What is the value of scalar quantity here? That is 3. Input is u of s and output is y of s. So, we can draw this by using the block diagram representation. You can see that this represents the first block. This is the second block. There is a negative sign associated with it. This is the third block. Okay. So, you will get and the scalars are 3, 4. Okay. So, you will get the block diagram representation. The first block is represented by this one because feedback is 2 there. Here, the feedback is 3. And in the case of fourth case, feedback is 4. And the scalars are 3, 4 and 1. And here you can see that this block, in this case, the sign is positive. All are added, but here only the term is, this is minus. That means it is subtracted. That is why we are representing it as here. You can see here that this is this term will be minus term. That is why we are using the it is given to this summer minus summer. All other are given to the positive summers, okay, or adders. So this is the case, and U of S is obtained by summing. Sorry, Y of S is obtained by summing all these terms, and here also you have to note that each of this block is multiplied by U of S. That is why we are representing first. We will write U of S here, then we will represent the first block. And next we will represent this block. Next we will represent this block. And the output from all these blocks will be given to next scalar. That is from the first block output is given to 3. Which is represented here. And next from the second block this is minus value. From the second block it is given to 4. You can see here it is 4. And the next block is this one. It is Output is given to there is no in due term, the so output is given to 1. So, 1 is not represented here. So, this and this will be subtracted because its sign is negative. Okay. So, sign is negative. So, this will be subtracted. That is why it is given to negative sign. And all these blocks will be initially multiplied by U of S. That is why it is given as like this. Okay. U of S is given to every block. So, Y of S, from this, you can write the equation for um, state variables. So, state equation can be written as in the first block, you can repeat it is x1 dot, this is x1. Here it will be x2 dot, this is x2, this is x3 dot and x3. So, x1 dot will be equal to u plus, sorry, u minus 2 into x1, that is written here. x2 dot will be equal to u minus 3 into x2. x3 dot will be equal to u minus 4 into x3, that is the equations that is given here. Next, from the in the output, what is output? 3 into x1 is one, one thing. Next is minus 4 into x2. Next is x3 itself. So, state equations are this. And this is output equations. You can draw the, you can write it in the matrix form as x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot. Here, minus 2, 0, 0 coming. Here, 0, minus 3, 0 coming. Here, 0, 0, minus 4 coming. So, it is the diagonal matrix. Next matrix is x1, x2, x3 plus next is every term, every equation will have u term. So, 1, 1, 1 and then u will be multiplied. So, next in the case of y, what are the terms? 3 minus 4, 1 is the first row matrix, then x1, x2, x3. Okay, there is no u term, so it is not represented here. So, this is the state model in the canonical form representation model. Okay, so you have gone through this problem again. It is asked for one university question. Okay, you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay, thank you.